Hello everybody, this is Amel and today I'm going to show you how to solve permutations too. So, in the last video I showed you how to solve permutations and the difference between this one and the last video is that in this case the input array might contain duplicates. So you want to avoid generating duplicate permutations. So, given a collection of numbers that might contain duplicates, return all possible unique permutations. So you want to return all the possible unique permutations. So for example here they give you as an input this array and these are the possible unique permutations. So how can you solve this problem? The idea is the same idea as the permutations uh, idea that I explained to you before. Um, you're gonna pick a number and then you're gonna say this number plus the permutations of the other numbers. So for example, 1 plus permutations of 1 and 2. But then you want to make sure that you don't generate duplicate permutations. So how can you do that? Well, what you can do is that you can sort the input array. And by sorting the array, you make sure that all the elements that are duplicates are next to each other. So when you are done processing an element, when the recursion comes back, then you check if that element, for example here 1, is equal to the next element. If that's the case, you're going to skip it, because you already processed that element. In that way, you will be able to avoid generating duplicate permutations. So first you sort the array, and after you sort the array, um, when you come back from the recursion for every element, you check if the next element is the same. If that's the case, you skip it. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. So list of list of integer final result is the value of new array list of list of integer. If nums equals equals null or nums that length equals equals zero, then I return the empty list. At the end, I return the final result. So as I said, the first thing I have to do is sort the array. So arrays that sort nums. I'm sorting the array to be able to skip duplicates. Then I need an array of boolean, as I explained in the previous video, so used value of new boolean array of size nums that length and this array is going to allow me to mark every element um, that I have used so that I don't add the element again in this permutation I need a list of integer a single permutation because the value of new array list of integer and then I'm going to call my helper method helper passing nums passing permutation, passing used, and also the final result. Okay, so now we're going to have a private void helper method. It's going to take an array of integer nums. It's going to take a list of integer permutation. It's going to take an array of boolean used and a list of of list of integer the final result okay so first the base case if permutation the size equals equals nums that length that means that I already have built a permutation so I have to add it to the final result result that add new array list of permutation I'm making a deep copy because that's a reference and I return. So now as I said before I have to go from left to right in the array and choose pick an element, mark it and then um, say this element plus permutations of the other elements. So for integer i is a value of 0, i is less than norms that length plus plus i. First I'm gonna check if used sub i, then continue. If this element has been 
all, if this element has been used, then I don't want to add this element to this permutation. So I skip it. Then use sub i gets a value of true. That means I'm using this element. Then permutation that add num sub i. So for for example, if I pick number one, then this is what I'm doing, picking number one by marking it and adding that number to permutation. And then I have to uh, say this number plus the permutation of the others. And to say the permutation of the others, I call my method recursively, passing nums, the single permutation used and results. When I come back, when I'm done with this number, I have to do that for the other number. So I have to pick another number and I have to make sure that I reset this number. I remove the mark and because I have to say this number is not used anymore and I move to the next one. So I'm going to say I have to remove it from this permutation as well. So permutation that remove permutation that size minus one. That's going to remove the last element that I added that was that number there from this permutation. And I also have to unmark it. So use sub i gets a value of false. That way, then I'm going to move to the next element. And I want to make sure that then it's going to be 1 plus permutation sub 1 and 2. But you can see that this element is the same as this. So I want to skip it because I want to avoid duplicate permutations. So uh, the way I'm going to do that is by saying while i plus 1 is less than norms that length and norm sub i is the same uh, as norm sub i plus 1 then plus plus i so as long as this number is the same as the next number keep incrementing i and that's going to make sure that i for instance in this case when i come back from the recursion i skip this number and then i'm going to do the 2 that means that i'm going to say 2 plus the permutation of the other number so I'm going to run the code. Seems to be working perfectly. Submit. OK. 3 milliseconds faster than 98.13% of Java Online submissions for permutations too. As you can see, this is working perfectly. So please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.